Hi, I'm David Levithan, and I'm so excited to be here with Gordon Corman. Um, I have edited Gordon now for almost 20 years, mm -hmm. um, which is crazy, and many, many, many books. But I'm really particularly excited about War Stories, Gordon's new book um, that is coming in July. It's just one of the best books I think you've ever written, and I'm so jazzed for it to be out in the world. So it is a World War II story, but it's also a story about now. It's multi-generational. Could you tell us a little about why you chose the approach? Well, I've always wanted to write a, a World War II story, and, and then it sort of occurred to me to try it a different way, to sort of focus on a kid in the here and now, a 12-year-old boy named Trevor, whose great-grandfather was a Normandy veteran, one of the actual guys in the first wave of D-Day. He's 93 now, and he is invited back to Europe uh, to be celebrated for his participation, kind of in honor of the 75th anniversary of, of the victory in Europe. So could you talk a little bit about sort of the conversations you want kids and kids and educators to have about the book? What I think is the most important conversation about war stories would be just about the necessity and the destruction. I mean, war is, is an awful thing. I mean, no one in any perspective would imply that what the Allies did in the Second World War was not necessary. It's really important to kind of take a look carefully about the sacrifices we make to achieve those goals. So at this point in your career, I mean, what, what makes it exciting to have a new book like this? The books that have resonated with readers the most have been the things I've done the most recently. Uh, things like Restart and the Slacker books and the Swindle books. And now I, I believe war stories. 